Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Jamie Fran Colors. We are going to look at our Linda Ravencroft picture that we are coloring with watercolor pencils. So far we've used the Museum Aquarelle by Karen Dosh. I've also pulled my ink tents by Derwent. I thought we could play with them a little bit in this book as well and see how they do. So let me move things around here and we'll get started. Here she is. I don't know what is going on, why I need to lift it up. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, everything has been moved in this room and it's so hard to like get everything back to the way it was. I don't know. Oh well. Alright, so so far in this picture we've used oranges, yellows, reds from our um, Acreol set. Let's pull some greens from the Ink Tent set because I... Okay, let's start with the Iron Green. That is 1310 in the Derwent. And let's put some of these shading in. I'm just going to use them the same way I was using the Acreol last time. So I'm just going to lay them down like they're regular colored pencils and then we'll blend with the water. And we'll see how it goes. So these ones are ink when they, so they can't reactivate. They are permanent. So, whereas the other ones we can like re-wet and rework them. These ones not so much. Okay, this is the 1320 Ionine Green. And I'm gonna go right over the Iron Green and then blend it out a little bit. And I'm trying not to be too precious about it because these feel more difficult to lay down than the Acreol did. They almost kind of feel sticky a little bit. I don't know. Spring green, 1520. Yeah, they kind of feel more sticky. That's the only way I can... To describe it. Okay, so that gives us some color down there. Then let's use a little bit of water. I'm going to get water, wipe it off so it's not dripping or anything. And we will blend with the paintbrush. Oh, that's very pretty. I want that middle to be fairly light, so I'm going to clean my brush before I go into that section there. I like how vivid it is. It's very pretty. Alright, well let's do another one. Let's come over here. There's a nice leaf here that has a little lighter. It's not so much in the shadow. So we'll take the iron green again first and lay it down. Okay, and then the ionine green, 1320. Okay, and then the spring green, 1550. Here's one activated, and here's one just with pencil. You can kind of see the difference. These are very pigmented when you wet them. Like, it doesn't look like they're going to be that pigmented, but they definitely are. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna clean my brush and then go in those center lighter areas. Cause I'm just trying to keep the dark from taking over. No, I think those are really pretty on there too. They do darken up and become very vivid after you use water, probably even more so than the aquarelle did. Um, I'm going to do all the green leaves and then we'll go back to the aquarelle and compare to see like maybe we, well, we can do that before. Let's do um, these, the green as well, but let's use the Caran d'Ache aquarelle, how they do, I guess okay so I'm gonna start with my darkest this is moss green yeah they don't feel as sticky they like glide over the paper easier so I like that all right then we'll go to the light olive 40% Okay, and then let's get the spring green so that we have a bit of a highlight in there in a couple places. I like how these look even just dry. They're very, they're, they are pretty. They're a pretty pencil. Okay. Then let's take our brush. Yeah, I think those look, I mean, I really like them too. I think you could definitely use them together. So if there's colors that you don't have in one, you can use in the other. I have one more set of watercolor pencils and that are, that are, <laughs> that is the Arteza set. And we should look at those too. Just, all right, let's see how these compare. Passion fruit is our darkest, so we will put that in the... These don't feel sticky like the Derwent did, but I, I don't know if they're laying down quite as smoothly as the Caran d'Ache did. So maybe kind of something in between. The the Derwent really are a thing of their own because they're they're ink. They're not um, watercolor, but that that's what I have for water soluble pencils. So okay. I'm just putting this where shadows are. Okay. That's Seems like a good layer. All right, then these are, oh, let's see, Vermilion. So we will put that over the Venetian and then blend it out. Now the other pencils get more vivid when we add water. So maybe these will too. I'm hoping so because it kind of just looks a little dull right now. So I'm hoping it will really make it more vivid and let me add the water. I'm going to put just a little bit right there. Okay. And then our last color is that pumpkin orange. I'm kind of putting this all over. All right, let's add the water. I'm gonna, can you see it like, let's see. It just looks not as 
vivid, right? Okay, well we're gonna add the water. Maybe it'll get more vivid. Be great if it did. Okay, here we go. Okay. I mean, it is getting, it's more. I just don't know that it's as much as the Karen Dosh were. Like in the flowers. I don't know. It's like. When I add the water, my feeling is that there isn't as much pigment payout as there is with the Karen Dosh. Which, you know, makes sense price-wise. There's probably more filler in these Arteza and more pigment in the Caran d'Ache. They're more expensive and, you know, you get what you pay for, so. They worked though. I mean, they did become more vivid and they did blend out. And I think watercolor pencils are great in this, in these books. It's definitely what I'm going to use in these books from now on. But I don't think that I like the Arteza as much as I like the Caran d'Ache. Oh, it kind of looks still a little dull out there in the center. I don't know. I'm going to let all of that dry and I'm going to finish up the green and then we'll come back and finish her. I have some water brushes that I want to try as well. So let me get all the the green in and we'll let that skirt dry and decide what we think overall. Okay, it's later in the day so this is dry. And I have a couple of things I wanna say. First is I just feel like this with the Arteza watercolors, it just didn't stay as vivid that it kind of dulled down as it dried. So we're gonna try to add a little more color with the um, Museum Caran d'Ache. But the other thing is that while I really like how the ink tints looked, looks on the greens, I think that's vivid, I think it's beautiful, I think they worked great. I just, while I was doing it, I was like, oh, I kind of wish I was using my the other ones. I really like the other ones better. I like the other ones better. So I have to tell you that I do really like these Karen Dosh museums. So um, Aquarelle. So I very much love these. So if you could afford these, I would get these over any other watercolors that I have, watercolor pencils that I have tried. So the ink tents, they're just in their own world. So because they're ink. All right, let's keep going. Um, let's put some more color in this skirt. Oh, my nose is all drippy all of a sudden. I've been fine all day long, and now this. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> this is brown. It's a very exciting color. We're just gonna... I thought since I was going over other colors that going a little bit darker just might help us out a little bit so to kind of cover I don't know I just don't like it as well I'm trying to figure it does look like a little more faded they're probably fine if you were doing the whole piece in the Artezas then you'd probably be just fine you would but I don't know I just like these better So we're gonna do it, because it's my piece. My picture, I get to do what I want. I took the day off from the gym today. I just felt like I really needed it. I'm doing like this weight, beginning weight trainers. Um, Red, I don't know, <laughs> workouts, I guess. I found it online. It was a free workout. That's how I roll. 
but I really am liking it. It's not too much and I feel fine like when I'm doing the workout. Oh, but the next day, do I feel it? But like the first day is like legs and like stays arms and then the third day is legs again. And then I was supposed to go and do chest and back today, I think. And I was like, mm, my body needs a break. It is tired. It doesn't help that I'm on my menstrual cycle as well. <laughs> and so I'm just like, I can't, not today. I need a break, recover a little bit, and then I can go back. But my kids are out of school today, or tomorrow, not today. Tomorrow, because it's Friday, they're off Friday, every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. They kind of changed it with the whole 2020 debacle so they only go four days a week and yeah like I've been looking to see about like dumbbells and barbells that I could have at home so I'm looking for a set if you guys I don't know know of a good set or something online you can purchase that'd be great let me know but I don't know I could either wake up incredibly early tomorrow and go to the gym before my husband goes to work but he leaves for work at 7 30 in the morning i just don't know <laughs> if i can do it i don't know or i could just run on the treadmill and then pick it up on saturday um, but then do i skip a workout or what do i do because I'm going to miss one of the workouts. So, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, that was terracotta, if I didn't say. And then this is gold cadmium yellow. And I'm just going to put this all over the skirt. And then we'll blend with the water. And we'll see how it does, because we are putting it over stuff that has already been activated, but I think it will be okay. I have a treadmill at home, so I could always just walk on the treadmill, but I don't know about what to do about the, the weights. Okay, let us try with the water, the water. So I have my paintbrush here, Put off on the paper towel, doing all right. I am always at the gym when uh, Sammy does her lives on Tuesday. I always see the notification for it while I'm at the gym because it's like, nine o'clock in the morning for me on Tuesdays in which like my kids are in school is the only time I have to go to the gym and so I've missed them which is sad but I feel like I can't do everything and I have to like take care of myself and my health is important. All right, I like that better. I do. I think I like that better. What do you guys think? I think it's good. I'm wondering if it got a little bit muddy because we had so many colors on there, but I think it's okay. Okay. I'm thinking of making like these kind of the lightest color, like the um, petticoat under her skirt here, is that what it's called? I think so. And then this looks like it's the back part of her skirt, so we'll add some brown and some of the terracotta in there. Okay, 
And then maybe even some of that golden cadmium again. All right. A little yellow there. And we'll do a little of the little flowers. Beautiful. Okay, and then do the back of her skirt. Okay. Very nice. I like that. I like that. All right. So then we have her like bustier up here, the top part of her dress, the um corset and I was thinking what was I thinking I was thinking of using these same colors in the darker stripes so we'll go with the brown and then we'll go with the terracotta And then the golden cadmium. Want to do this like on your couch or outside, then a water brush might be something that you would be interested in. I really have, I don't love any <laughs> water brush, um, but this one, this one I have liked more than others and it is the Arteza. And yes, so you have a barrel of water and then you have the brush and the water, wait, there's like a, you press the button and water fills the brush and then you have clean water. So this is stained, there are, there's no paint color on here. So we'll just do, um, this. I don't know. I just feel like these are great if you are away from your desk, if you want to go outside or on the couch or whatever. But I have a hard time. I just need more practice with them, I'm sure, but I have a hard time controlling the water. But these, this one I have liked more than I've liked it. the others I've tried. So I recommend this one. And then I have a new one to try and it is a little bit different. I'll show it to you here in just a minute. We'll try it. Okay, so that's cute. For the other part, I have the same pink that we've used before and this apricot which are kind of these flowers but i want to do it a little bit different let's put the pink on first as our darkest color she's a fairy i want her to kind of look like she belongs in her surroundings so i'm kind of using a lot of the same colors Cute, cute. And then we'll take that apricot and I'm going right over the pink and then out a little bit. Still leaving a little bit of a highlight that I'm not covering up. But I'll pull the color with the water. So, okay. So, the, well, I'm trying to figure out where to put this. The other brush, it looks similar to the RT. He's a, quite a bit similar, actually. This one is by Karen Dosh, and it is smaller. As you can see, it has the chamber for the water, and it has the same button mechanism to get the water out. The difference is, is that this is felt instead of bristles. So this is real bristles, like a paintbrush has. You can pull them apart. Don't want to. 
but this is foam, like a marker has, I guess, like a cheap marker. So let's put the water, let's activate the water down. I can see that it's getting wet. And we'll see if we like it, I don't know. I might absolutely hate it, but it just seems kind of a weird thing to me. So we had to try it. It's like, it's exactly what it feels like. It feels like painting with a Q-tip, I'll be honest. But if you're not like, I don't know, if you're not adept with a brush, it is more like coloring with a marker. So if you don't feel comfortable with the bristles, then maybe you'd like it. I also, but I feel like it's kind of chewing the paper up because it's so stiff. Hmm, okay. I think if you're not adept with a paintbrush, you might like it. But if you use paintbrushes already, I would pass on this. And really, you just learn to use a paintbrush. It's better. It's all right, I just feel like it's chewing up the paper a little bit, so we will continue to use just my brush. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm gonna add a little green foliage stuff in her hair here that I missed before with the same colors that I've used before. I kind of like her with gray hair and I'm not sure. Maybe we'll put just like a highlight color or something in her hair. We could do that, that would work. Okay, so we kind of have her crown there. Okay, let's take this color. This is Naples Ochre, and we're just gonna give her some highlight in her hair. I just don't wanna do a whole lot with her hair because I like it gray. I don't know. She looks like a fun older elf, you know? It's been around a while, but she's fun, she's cute. Okay, like that. Doesn't, just a little bit, doesn't do a whole lot. Okay, the only thing we have left is these apples. Are we excited? I'm excited. All right, these apples. I have pulled Carmine Lake, which we have used, and then Scarlet, and Light Cadmium Red, which we have also used. So the only new color here is the Scarlet. So I'm gonna start with the Carmine Lake. This is the shadow color that we used on her skin. And I'm going to put this in the shadows. I think this is kind of what I've seen, like doing large areas more quickly with these than you would with regular colored pencils. Um, maybe I just tend to like quick and messy coloring. So you can be a little more quick and messy, but the then the the water kind of fixes it. I don't know. Maybe I'm up in the night. All right, Scarlet. I'm gonna go right over our Carmine Lake. I want quite a bit of this color because this is gonna give us our juicy red apple color. Okay. And then we have the light cadmium red. Okay. Yes, I'm going to add some of that pink anathroconode, anathroconode pink. 
Yeah, we need that in there. I'm just sure of it. Okay. We've put in all those colors. Nice and messy. Let's see what some water will do. magic. I just adore it. This might be my new favorite thing on the right paper. <laughs> you know, I'm in these books, I might go through these whole books, color all of them. It's just so much fun. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's just like magic. Love it. Oh my goodness. Sophie. They're just cars, sweetie. People going home from work. I know. Sophie. Hey. dark outside. I have no idea what she's growling at. Sophie, I'll go get my dog under control and we'll be back to just put some finishing touches on this picture. Okay, there she is. Look, I'm going to fix that. It looks retarded. Okay, here she is. Oh, I really like it. Oh, she's so pretty. This was so fun to do. I just really loved playing with these and they are such a pretty picture. Oh my goodness. All right, I will link everything that I used down in the description box down below. Oh, she's just so pretty. You know what I didn't do? I did not do her shoes. I'm just gonna take the brown. And we'll just add a little color. They don't need a lot. But this was so much fun. I really adore these pencils. You've had like three videos now <laughs> to look at these pencils. So I will not be doing our next picture with them. But I am so pleased that I have decided to give watercolor pencils another try. And I really think the quality of these are beautiful and they are just making it fun to play with this. So I hope you guys give them a try. If you have them, pull them out and try again. If you have the Derwent Ink Tents, pull them out, try them again. If you have the Arteza, pull them out, try them again. You know, find some good paper. This, this is great paper to be doing these on. So definitely going to be doing more of this in these books. So I hope you guys have an awesome week, weekend, that you find time to take some deep breaths, de-stress, throw some color around, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!